so we'll put that in there all those in there and a piece of tin bam got a backpack <clears throat> That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. I mean, that much power. The, uh, it doesn't use that much power, the electric boat. So? I guess, actually, yeah, you kind of want a, a lap pack if you're going on a long journey. There's plenty of lapis. How do you make a lap pack? It's six lapis blocks and uh, one advanced circuit and a uh, pet pack. Oh, wow, that's easy. So, six of those, I can make that... Lap pack, bat pack, advanced circuit. So I need uh, rubber. Cables. Yeah. Cables, rubber. Do you have any cables or rubber left? Oh, uh, no. I would have put them in the chest if I did. Alright, well we're just going to go get some more rubber outside real quick. Should we go on right there? Right there, right there, right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're excited, <laughs> aren't you? Battle sign. Too bad you can't write. St oh wait, I'm gonna make another one. I just need this to get me some rubber real quick. I'm gonna take the that uh, lapis blocks. I hope we have enough lapis. Actually, let's do this. Oh, hold left click and bam. Six lapis blocks. Get all that lapis back out. Dang it, it should show the name on the... That would be awesome if it showed the name on the sign. Alright, come on. Three, two, one. Rubber. <laughs> come over here. How much, uh, how much damage does that do? Half a heart. Yeah, not much. Didn't think so. Here, have a battle sign. What's a battle sign do? I have no idea. Battle sign. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna Close make a frying stone. pan next. Oh, we got that cleaver still in there. Lapis and redstone, okay. Oh. Alright, so we have... Electronic circuit. Two pieces of this and this. And then I forget, I think it's something like this. Advanced circuit. Advanced circuit. Bat pack. Flat pack. That's pretty easy to make. <clears throat> Come over here. Fill it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, we have plenty of coal. Though. That's just generating power in there. Alright, let's go try to test out the battle. Or the, uh, <laughs> the uh, electric boats. <laughs> My frying pan is named Kiss the Cook. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's sail to that island right there. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let's do here this. we go. Here we go. And kick on the power. Come on. Any second now. And oh. Oh, there it goes. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Come on. I forgot to wear my lap pack. You have to have the lap pack. Come on. Any second now. Oh yeah. Gotta get it up this. to 88 miles per hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> Over here. Go over here. The open ocean. Oh yeah, this thing gets cooking. This thing is going really fast. Oh, wow, oh, no. Island. 
go through an oil plume. Oh yeah, these are all oil plumes over here. So what happens with these oil plumes, is you can't see it underneath because of the way Minecraft uh, water works, but there's a column. Oh, my boat slowed down. There's a column of oil that goes from the top, very tip top of there, all the way down, and there should be like a single little hole down there uh, underneath the ocean. And there's going to be like a pocket of oil right I don't know, probably 10 blocks above uh, bedrock down there. And it's just, it's, depending on how big these oil plumes are, like the small ones aren't, aren't as big, but the bigger ones, you can have a huge pocket of oil down there. Um, I don't think there's anything else to know about oil. It's, it's oil. What do you expect? You get, you get it, you can uh, pump it out, you can pump it through pipes, and you can actually see it, like, see the liquid going through the pipes um what else is there you can take the oil and uh, make it into uh, fuel and you take the fuel and put it into combustion engines oh um that's what happens if you run your boat into a lily pad <laughs> all right okay so. cat Get going again. I'll say on the daytime. I just wanted to test this out. Oh, that's a cool waterfall. Alright, let's go. Three, one two, waterfall. one. Poof. Come on, poof of smoke or something. Oh, yeah. I'm going fast. I go fast a lot faster. <laughs> I'm going that's fast. Where are you at? I'm like at 1,200. Oh, I don't know. I'm just sailing. I want to wait till daytime. It's not really fun watching this on YouTube, but, uh, you know, right in the middle of the night. Oh, 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 oh. River. Oh. All right, we're going to go up here. I want to show my new axe that I got. I was tripping or chopping a bunch of... Take my boat with me. I was chopping a bunch of uh, logs... Off, off camera with this new axe I got. I made in Tinker's Construct. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got the uh, the Nyan Cat hat. So now I'm a Nyan Cat. Uh, what just happened? My electric boat disappeared. Okay, so see these giant, giant uh, logs here. I can go down here. Timber. And the entire tree gets cut down. Here's all the logs. But yeah, this special axe. I don't know, I named it the tree gobbler because that's pretty much what it does. You just go around here, chop trees, and they all, the entire tree falls down. And no, it's not the timber mod. I even know it's pretty much exactly like it. We're not using it. Tinker's Construct. Love it. First time using it. Love it. Alright, let's see if I can get this boat going before I jump in it. Man, on the open ocean, you can go really, really... Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? <clears throat> anyway, uh, never mind. You can go really fast. Yep. Did you go west or east? I'm at, like, 1,150. Negative? 400. Nope, positive. Oh, you went east. I'm gonna go west. All right. I guess I'll backtrack. Oh, yeah, I gotta watch my power. I already drained 3k. Yeah, if you get going on this ocean. <laughs> I didn't drain anything, like, barely. Well, I only have part charge. I can get going on this. This is way... This is, full. like, super speed creative mode. Yeah. This is faster than creative mode. Yeah, it does seem like it. <clears throat> you just gotta make sure not to hit anything, or your boat kind of just pops out. Doesn't get yeah. destroyed, just. But yeah, there's the. Uh, there's the coast over there. What do we what have is, down there? What is that hat? Oh, a little bit of frame rate issue there. Overdose. Oh, I think I know what that hat is. We're just gonna cruise along the coast right here. 
Look for hats. See if we see any over there. I see some torches, so we've been here before. Oh. Crashed my boat. Oh yeah, overdose. This is an awesome hat. What is it? It's it. Yeah, it's hard to describe. You you just have to come. Let me uh, come to you. I'm at negative two hundred. Plus five thirty seven. Oh wow, I get got going really quick there. Let me uh, here I'll I'll find you. I'm just going straight Wait, west, following the coastline. Way too far away. Teleported to me. <laughs> That's on camera, you know. I know. I I don't like. Yeah. It's I didn't even know where you were, and it's thousands of yards away. So no. Okay. Oh, I claim all these islands. Where did oh that is that my boat? Come here, boat. We don't give ourselves items here. You can nope. make yourself a new boat. What's that hat? Oh uh, yeah, there's some really good islands over here. Some really good hats over here. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Stop oh, that's it here, and I am going to pick it back up if I find something cool. Alright, didn't really find anything of anything of interest, so we're coming back now, and this is what it looks like in first person. Oh, I want to go through that oil. I'm gonna, hang on, I want to make a big loop. Going on negatives. I'm going to go through that big oil plume over there. Huh. Get some speed here. No, oh, it's not a big oil plume. It's just a medium-sized one. Go through in first person. Oh, yeah. I'm going fast. Going fast. Ooh, there we go. By the wind. Oh, island. Oh, whoa, bay. Hey. All right, we're going to go back. One more little pass in there. Ooh, boat's getting flooded. How is your boat getting flooded? You know, when you go, like, bob up and down, you'll see, like, a little water clip through the boat. <laughs> okay. Whoa, boat. Whoa. Oh, look at these. So many... We need to make a harbor now. Oh, this is a harbor. This is a perfect harbor. What? Where? At negative 1,300. 400. A negative 1,400. I'm way far away. And we're back with the new session today. And we've decided that to add a new mod to the server. And you can see it kind of in the bottom right there, little lightning bolts kind of charging up. That's the new exhaustion meter. So what this mod is, it's called Smart Moving. And it just adds a whole new dimension to like moving around on the ground. And we just had a creeper explode here. But the whole point of the mod is to change the way that the player the player renders and how how they uh there's an example. How they uh how they move around. So I can do I'll start off with the base very basics. The exhaustion meter when I run, it's it pretty much determines how how long you can run or how many times you can jump. It limits the time you can jump, so I think it takes around five exhaustion meters to make a jump. So if I do one, two, I can't jump. There. As soon as it's five, I can jump. So if you're one of those people that just loves to run around and sprint and then and then like always jump, you can you can configure this. So if you don't like that change, you can completely disable exhaustion. If you don't like it, get rid of it. Still call it good, and you can enjoy the rest of the mod. Uh, let's see what else does it do. It It'll let you crawl. Let's see, we're gonna crawl it. Um. Oh yeah, I can try. I can show them the uh, the little new entrance to our base. See this little one by one hole? I can go like this. I can crawl right through the bottom of there, and that's the that's the basis of crawling. Or I can go back here, get a running start. And then slide on home. So that's the basis of crawling. Um, there's some other little features. Let's say 
let's say you don't like jumping. So you can hold control. And you can just like crawl right up here. Ooh. I don't have the hat. You can hold control, and then you can just I don't know. I already have it. Yeah. You can hold control and you'll go up one block. I believe you can do I don't have any demonstrations for two blocks. You can do two blocks or the maximum size, you can come over here and see this one's three blocks tall. I can jump and I can hold on to the uh It's not most realistic sliding speed. We can, we're gonna probably mess I'll mess with the configs to make this a little more realistic looking. But you can do this, you can slide along the, the side of it. Or say you just want to go to the top. Pull yourself right up here. Yep. That's the basic of that. And then the best part I saved the best for last. The new diving mechanic. Oh, that's a slide. The new diving mechanic. Charge it up. If there wasn't a sandbar, it would look a little bit better, but um, that's the diving mechanic. You can dive into water or on land if you really want to. They change the changes the animation for swimming. So you can do that. That's what it looks like on the surface if I was in first person view. But as soon as I do this, it kind of switches it to the underwater. That's the basics of smart moving. It's it's just a little cosmetic mod and um, there's a couple practical applications for it. Kill this creeper. Let's go down to the mine and I'll do a practical example of this. So say you're down here and you just want to go mine. Say you don't want to mine upwards or there's you don't want to mess something up or there's something above this block right here that you don't want to kill this block. So you can go down here and you can mine on a one by one block like this. <clears throat> And then I can mine over here a little. And mine down a little. Oop. And then come out this one by one hole. So I just mined straight through this little hole and just made a big loop. Just crawling through here. Yep. That's the basics of smart moving. It's a pretty nifty mod. So we'll be using that off and on from this point on. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with it. Hopefully. You'll go up one block. I believe you can do... I don't have any demonstrations for two blocks. You can do two blocks or the maximum size. You can come over here and see this one's three blocks tall. I can jump and I can hold on to the... Uh, it's not most realistic sliding speed. We, we're going to probably mess... I'll mess with the configs to make this a little more realistic looking. But... You can do this, you can slide along the, the side of it. Or, say you just want to go to the top, pull yourself right up here. Yep, that's the basic of that. And then the best part, I saved the best for last. The new diving mechanic. Oh, that's a slide. The new diving mechanic. Charge it up. If there wasn't a sandbar, it would look a little bit better, but um, that's the diving mechanic. You can dive into water or on land if you really want to. They change the changes the animation for swimming, so you can do that. That's what it looks like on the surface if I was in first person view, but as soon as I do this, it kind of switches it to the underwater. That's the basics of smart moving. It's it's just a little cosmetic mod and. Um, there's a couple practical applications for it. Kill this creeper. Let's go down to the mine and I'll do a practical example of this. So say you're down here and you just want to go mine. Say you don't want to mine upwards or there's you don't want to mess something up or there's something above this block right here that you don't want to kill this block. So you can go down here and you can mine on a one by one block like this. <clears throat> and then I can mine over here a little. And mine down a little. Oop. And 
then come out this one by one hole. So I just mined straight through this little hole and just made a big loop. Just crawling through here. Yep. That's the basics of smart moving. It's a pretty nifty mod. So we'll be using that off and on from this point on. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with it. Hopefully. 